from baby leopard cubs to baby lion cubs. We've caught up with the rest of the Angama pride. It turns out that that female was hunting that topi all by herself. The rest of the pride have emerged from the forests with full bellies and a contented look. And it really, truly is such a gorgeous morning. And the older ones and the tiny little ones all gathered together, making their way through, following the adults back, I think, towards their lugger. Though the drainage line where they spend a great deal of time. Now there's four sets of cubs of different ages. Two of them are around about, I would say, eight months nearly nine months for the older ones, and then the two little ones that must be around about five months or so, four months, five months old. Where are we? We're in September, and we first saw those tiny, tiny babies in July, which means they were born in June. So July, August, September. Yeah, the youngest ones are three months old. Here we go. Now what we will do is we're just going to pull up a little bit just so that we can get a slightly better position as the little cubs come to join the pile because really there's nothing much better than watching cubs as they greet the adults. There we go. <laughs> Collection of all ages. 13 cubs in total or at least there were. I'm trying to do a head count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm certain I'm not seeing all of them though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Thank you. I'm sorry. The dust in my eye is making me sneeze. Riti, no. Lionesses don't do that. Leopards, in, in fact, very few animals do in terms of the predators. So in, their approach to getting their youngsters food will be in the case of lions, they'll go back, they'll fetch the cubs, they'll take them to the kill and they will feed there. So from around about six weeks old, lion cubs are taken to the kill. The same applies for leopard cubs. So leopard cubs do something very, oh, leopard females do something very similar. They drag the kill somewhere safe, but not far. And then they go and they fetch the cub and they bring it back to the kill. Wild dogs will bolt down a meal, run back to the den site and regurgitate the food for the puppies. And then once the puppies are old enough, they'll go with the adults on hunts. And then for something like a cheetah, again, she'll go and fetch the cubs and take them back to the kill. Hyenas, in cases where you're talking about a high-ranking female, a hyena will drag pieces of carcass back to the den site. It's the only situation where you get it. And I think one of the big, the big reasons behind that is the sheer strength of a, a hyena's jaw and its back and its neck. Oh, it was so beautiful, all lined up in the green grass. I've only counted 13 aloud, but I wouldn't worry. I think that's just because I can't see all of them. So it doesn't mean they've lost any. I think it's just because I haven't been able to count all heads. Ben, the average for a lioness is around about two to three. And then you've got a maximum of usually six with a record being eight, I think in Nairobi National Park, but you're looking at an average of between two and three. You get occasional litters of four and very, very occasionally litters of six. I wish I could show you, but unfortunately they're all flying behind me, but the vultures are all on their way to whatever remains of whatever the Angamas killed last night. They're soaring over in their hundreds. Christy, it is pretty common for a lioness to hunt on, their, on her own while the others are fed. I mean, she'd fed as well. She'd eaten as well. Um, it, it's just that pure hunting instinct. It might be that she spotted something, the rest of the lionesses couldn't be bothered to move, and she was the one who initiated and moved off on the hunt. I can actually see her making her way back towards the rest of the pride. Unfortunately, she's just a little bit out of view. I'm going to be speaking very softly. I just 
just got a filthy look from one of the, the neighboring vehicles. Sorry. <laughs> look at the littlest one's head. Look how much smaller it is. One real human? Yes, lions smell. Um, they don't smell as pungent of hy as hyenas most of the time, but they do smell. And they, excuse me, I'm trying to find a tissue at the same time. So they do have a certain scent to them. Ah, oh. Dave, I'm sure we had toilet paper somewhere in this car. They do have a certain scent to them, especially when they've been feeding on rotten something, rotten carcass of some description. And especially when they've eaten a veal, and it's made them slightly flatulent. In which case the odor of, the aroma of rotting meat it can be quite overwhelming at times. They're a lot more fastidious than hyenas, though, and of course they allo groom each other, which helps to keep the smell under control. So they're definitely not as smelly as hyenas. But having been up close to lions, they are quite smelly. John, yes, I've noticed huge changes in their hunting behavior. Since the herds, the herds of wildebeest that were basically packed into the northern part of the triangle have left, the Angama's hunting strategy, it's gone back to what it was at the beginning when I first started here in June. So they're utilizing the landscape far more. They're spending a lot of time ambushing in the lugger and they're hunting far more at night. The big difference is the fact that the grass is now gone. When I first started, driving around in the Mara, and when I first started spending time with the Angamas, the grass was tall enough to easily hide a lioness walking upright. It's now pretty much completely gone, which means that they have to utilize the termite mounds. Before they were walking along the road because it was quiet and they were hidden by the long grass, now they have to kind of duck through. Alright guys, there are a lot of lion cubs here, this is a non-off-roading area and there's lots of vehicles who would like to come in and see them, so I'm going to move away so that they can take my place, it's only fair, and while we do that we'll send you back to another big cat and her youngster.